Hello everybody, I'm Vincent Cengiz, uh, Chairman of uh, CPG Group. Wish you all well. Basically, I thought I'll give you a few words about uh, myself and the group CPG. We're a private group based in the UK with activities all over pretty much a lot in Israel, United States, Europe and uh, England. And our activities basically were $1.2 billion group. I have developed the business from uh, the early 90s, 80s and then 90s, all the way from foreign exchange trading, capital markets, and moved on to discover and arbitrage, where I was able to securitize the, the market in uh, property on cash flows, I developed a financial model which allowed us to acquire around 4 billion pounds of property and then after that into in the past 15 years I decided in 2000 early 2000 the markets I was looking at I started investing in technology and particularly I got interested in climate change where I realized that this could be uh, some phenomena that I saw it to myself being in South Africa where I realized I've lost the beach in South Africa so I realized this thing is for real then I decided to develop a financial model around climate change in early 2000 we subsequently invested in the year 2006, I created a fund called Inspired Evolution in South Africa with the IFC, World Bank, as an investor, together with Africa Development Bank, European Investment Bank, and a number of European, Finland, Norway, Swiss fund. So I created a $100 million climate change financial model at that time and then went on to develop a fund with Abu Dhabi government called Mazdar, which was a clean tech fund of around $250 million. Subsequently, a further Africa fund we participated three, four years ago, which was $250 million in Africa investing in projects to do with the solar and wind and climate change basically as well as uh, an investor in biocarbon fund with the world bank in investing in deforestation and reforestation and at the same time i started to look at the carbon markets to see how they develop and how they flow so from then on, we've moved on to invest in healthcare, and we have a substantial portfolio, particularly in Israel, across a dozen venture capital groups, VCs, and uh, around $400 million invested, and a lot of investments with the hospitals, so with a number of Israeli hospitals, Trendline Incubator, which is both healthcare and agri-tech, and Capital Nature, which is a clean tech, the first and only clean tech incubator in Israel, where we have 12 technologies, all clean energy, which started in 2010. We now see the companies that have listed from that area, Electrion in road technology, developing roads in Germany and Sweden, in a new, uh, new generation uh, energy from the roads together then with Ogwind. Actually, it went public at around circa trading at around a billion dollars. Ogwind, which is a company in compressed air, the, a new technology working with a number of industries and separately now they've developed energy storage and working alongside solar parks so that's uh, currently being piloted with edf and the edf being the largest renewable provider in europe that's uh, going to be interesting the so solar and en so energy storage together with big solar plants and we then have the company called blade ranger 
which is in robotics, and a further one, chakra tech in batteries, a further one in, and others in truck net, in uh, truck optimization. The key is these five are all either listed or being listed, going public. And there's the further four or five others we have, like Enervibe, which is energy from vibrations, currently piloting with a number of tire companies, revolutionizing uh, the future smart tires and effectively creating energy from vibration, which is a very interesting technology. The key here is that having invested in clean tech for a very long time, I'm now beginning to see that since the world of uh, climate change is starting to really ramp up, also in Israel, we have a phenomenal ecosystem in finding renewable energy and clean energy and climate change related technologies. So effectively, what we are now looking at is how to, and planet tech is quite important in that we're uh, looking to build a marketplace in uh, climate change as in planet tech. So the way we see it is to be a big, um, as a as CBG is going to promote technologies uh, globally, but particularly we think Israel has the possibility to to put in a, a lot of its ecosystem is very much to the world of climate change, and we could put together lots of technologies that will reduce global emissions. And I think uh, I have uh, developed a financial model that could in encourage G2G, government-to-government -government trading, capturing CO2, both for selling, uh, being able to sell in the markets of CO2 for, uh, through the programs or voluntary credits, or just in itself reducing CO2, but getting the measurement to be able to measure the amount of CO2 reduction is achieved by certain technologies, Israel can become uh, zero emissions very, very quickly. And I think if uh, what I've seen happen is Japan in around 2010, that area did a program with 50 countries. They exported uh, technologies around CO2 and managed to split the savings with 50 countries. So I think there is a possibility that we could build a platform that we could do government to government, working big, big portfolio of climate technologies to which uh, one can export the technology to other countries and in theory, or maybe in practice, split the saving of CO2 between country A and country B. So that's uh, one element. Uh, so it's effectively government to government encouraging G2G and we can separately, what we see is having developed work in the healthcare industry we now have a very good understanding, including uh, like the way to commercialize or make money is quite important in uh, climate change technologies because if you're not gonna make profit on it, it's very difficult for scale up. So the, that's why I'm encouraged with how we've achieved Capital Nature and its public companies. So we can replicate that across a number of Israeli incubators and VCs, which we have uh, maybe 20 different venture capital investments we've made. And I reckon a lot of our VC uh, general partners of VCs and incubators will have technologies that can pivot towards climate change. So the key for us is to build a dashboard that will show people what it means, climate change, what are we trying to achieve, whether it's agri-tech or food tech or clean tech or water tech, or there are so many different areas within uh, the whole area of technologies around the planet, but the key will be 
can we find the technology, encourage the, the investment coming from effectively the governmental investment coming from the incubator programs, and separately seeing how to connect them to the likes of European funding, governmental funding, so we can encourage uh, finance together with collaboration with, uh, let's say, European companies, British companies, or American companies. And that collaboration will then lead to potential very large also listings on the stock exchanges. So effectively, it's not just uh, investing in companies that will not have much of a life on their own. So I can see the potential of a dashboard where uh, many, of, uh, many companies can be onboarded with their technology. We could show them, we could drive the savings of CO2 on a global basis, look at how much it is. And then the key is to achieve the scale up where with the government helping and these type of programs, the measurement of how much global CO2 we were able to reduce as a consequence of our technology. Example of that is precision agriculture, where that was developed in Israel many 30 years ago, to which the effect of precision agriculture was enormous globally in the achieving in water, technology and food, etc. So if you replicate that, you could see how many technologies uh, can be, we can put together through the this particular climate program. So I think that's the idea. So thank you very much. Um.